Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. Penis. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> yeah, we're in here. Wait, so we need to air out this room somehow. You can't open the door, I take it. <laughs> no, the the door in the in the drawing. No. Oops. I remember her mentioning that, like, it's too bad that the window's burnt over, so you can't open a window. Do we remember seeing anything that could destroy a wall? I ain't know how to destroy a wall. Huh. Yeah, you see, you take a little thing called C4... <laughs> Have you seen C4 in the game, right? Maybe. Oh, did they... I think they blocked off the art gallery. Um... Hi. Who is this fucker? Oh, he's just, he's just killing all the residents. They seem to pop up often enough. Like, he pretty much, like, he almost always, like, showed up when we had, like, the really big freaky things with the eyes, so maybe he's associated with the author. Yeah. I'll be back. I need snacks. No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Hamburger hamster. What? <laughs> Hamburger hamster? Yes. Okay. I'm guessing it has to do with what Jerry sent me at the ends. Also, hello, bookworm. Yes, how's a hanging book? I still had the lemon ice cream. I have 
no idea if I still need that or not. Probably don't. Also, that's a good book. It's so unfair. Why can't the author accept us just the way that we... Um... For a second there, I thought she was going to say, like, <laughs> why am I not part of the pile? <laughs> why didn't the author throw me on the corpse pile? Am I not special enough for the corpse pile? I just, I, le literally last night, I mm -hmm. started rewatching Soul Eater. <laughs> and I hate the fact that I feel like there are at least two characters in that series that might actually say something like that. <laughs> I feel like both uh well soul leader and black star might say something like that oh god anyway it's worth working on yourself but it's worth improving that what what one already has you can't give up on everything you s and start again I feel called out. <laughs> I do that constantly. With such an attitude, you cannot build anything stable. <laughs> Boomer says just nuke it all. I agree. No. Yes, re rebuild it in the radioactive crater. Mm -hmm. I guess. Crossing out everything as soon as an imperfect, crossing out everything as soon as an imperfection occurs, and just like this, a pile of abandoned hopes. Atchet, I thought in that voice you wouldn't say a p. You wouldn't. You wouldn't say a p at all. It was just. <laughs> what? Take the P out of hopes, and that's what I thought you would say in that voice. A pile of abandoned hopes. I don't... What's wrong with that? No, take out the P out of hopes. That's oh, what I thought you I, would I say. I took out the H. I'm done. You win. <laughs> All you get is a pile of House. Lying in the dark recesses of the past. Oh, oh God. What's, what's wrong with them? <laughs> They're abandoned because they weren't perfect to the author. <laughs> Soon I will end up in such a place myself. Right. <laughs> Bookworm tried to get me away from a cancelled moment, but I just deleted. <laughs> In a dark, dirty basement, hidden far away from the sight of the author. Forever, in contrast, to the poor wretches on this pile. Or however in I won't end up as a person forever deleted from the list of the author's creations. Fitting into the game's climate or not, I appeared at it. Oh my god. Hey, Bray. Yes. Potatoes. <laughs> really? Yes. Drum drum roll to bonk. <coughs> That's this. 
I'm just checking everywhere. Oh, my Festus. That's a yes. So we need um, something that can... Hello, sir. We need something that can break the wall or something that will air out the smoke. I don't think they got rid of the toy. Hmm. What was the toy that sat there? It was a robot. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh, hello, author. What? What? I was about, about to, to give him her voice. her voice. Why did you do this? Are you aware of the consequences? <laughs> oh, this is the scene we skipped. Are you aware of the consequences of your action? Of your actions? I developed a special program for finding errors and I can't go super deep and keep up the British. That's fair. I developed a special program for finding errors and editing them. It took away from me the right to manage the project. You took away from me the right to manage the project. Now this program is going crazy without any control. Because of your irresponsible behavior, I will definitely not be able to finish this game on time. Fuck you. God, what is the accent? I, I like, I'm, I feel like I'm bouncing between British and like, like a mixture of Southerner and Canadian. I'll have to, would you like a, would you like a cup of tea? There we go. That's how, that's how I get into the British. I have to apply all the patches manually now. God bless the queen. Wait. God. God, <laughs> God bless the king. Until he transitions into a queen. <laughs> I would laugh if one of the British kings or queens does that. The next British king will be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? And until they are overthrown. <laughs> says book. Oh god, I hate that, but that I just realized with how transphobic England has become. That could possibly be one of the most effective ways to overthrow the monarchy now. Uh -huh. Just have a transgender monarch show up. All the turfs are gonna freak out. Down with the monarchy. That's disappointing. Yeah. Do you know how much work this is? Sag. <laughs> In addition, I don't know what the self-correcting program is capable of doing without my supervision. What is this accent? Cup of tea. Please. Turn off this game and don't return until it is finished. I really don't want you to see my project in this condition. At the moment, this game is completely useless. I'm sorry, but that's incorrect. I have been simping for a Plague Doctor waifu this entire time. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll make a few corrections and I'll be perfect. I just like getting mixed with Elmer Fudd. I don't know. I promise. Why is the stream paused? Right? Yeah, I did what he asked. Quit the game. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Idiot. 
your absolute fucking bother. Yeah, I saved book. Waste, a bloody waste of space. Look There's at a... all you've done. There was no way I could not do that. Wait, he moved. He moved from one... What? Uh, sir? Leave me alone, I'm patching the game. Ah, oh, he's working on his location, okay. So something to air out. Oh. Was there a fan in the janitor's office? I don't think so. Oh. You- what? <laughs> I set fire to his drawings. <laughs> oh. You- oh my- that's- This game. <laughs> you just stumbled into success with fire. <laughs> yes. Come on. Well, if it's concerning fire, wouldn't Bright always stumble in? Uh. Oh look, it's a weird piece of paper. I... I feel what? like one of the most frustrating things for me is when Bright manages to stumble awkwardly into success. Uh, wasn't I, there... I can understand that. Wasn't there a puzzle that I just like randomly clicked things and then I and it and it was it it solved itself just by me clicking yeah. on it? <laughs> yeah, that has happened multiple times. <laughs> Where you're just being stupid, not thinking at all, and you just start clicking randomly and doing random shit, and then somehow you come out smelling like roses, like <laughs> may maybe maybe forty percent of the time. I want to say it it's it's unnervingly common. <laughs> Another option for the collection. Violets and blood. <laughs> Wait, so it's on yes already, so you have to make it no? Maybe this option will improve the entire situation a bit. Watch everything be like a Hello Kitty game now because of what it, I did that. Maybe. Although, actually, I don't have a lot of how. <laughs> Eat the ice cream. Why are some of the items scribbled out? Uh, cause um, the author, when we first encountered him, scribbled out all of our inventory options at the time. Ouch. Yeah, there's nothing so else all to of, do in that drawing. So all the things that aren't scribbled out in our inventory now are things that we've gotten since then. Hmm. Oh, he's gone. Wait a minute. There's no more blood and gore. Check the pile of bodies. Okay. Something has to change with the pile of bodies. They're gone. It's just gone. Okay, then where do they... Are they invisible bodies or they... Or, or did they just disappear? Oh wait, let's check by the school, because there was still that body there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's barely drawn in. <laughs> Guess maybe look around inside the school. Oh wait, the bathroom. Oh wait. Never mind. I'm going to bed. Uh ladder. Ladder. Can't pick up the ladder again, huh? Stop touching ink. Yeah, there's something new in the school area. Um, I guess we could have could check the other like drawn locations that were 
Oh. Oh. Hello. That were in the author's studio. Why? Why him? Oh, look, this door's open. Wasn't it always open? No, it was always closed because of this fucker. Mm. Wait, oh, I can't. Oh, no. Oh, she did. Oh. And now uh, she's gone forever because of this fucker. The fuck? The author got her, and because the no more gore option is on, she just vanishes. Oh, oh god. I guess they were all tossed here. What is that, like, line on the ground? This? I think it's just the ink. Hmm. I'm trying to click everywhere. This is so many, so many wrong. It's like blood and gore up, but it's oh. not that style. Oh. It's not what you think. <laughs> it's not what you think. I created this world a long time ago. Then it gave me a great fun. A great fun. Okay. Each new element made me excited. Looks like you did a G word, buddy. Oh, God. Oh, no. Author? You mean the author of the gen... <laughs> author of the... Hey, made so. Unfortunately, I have already become indifferent to the adventures of this game. Advantages of this game. The only thing I see are arrows and glitches. Each location is full of them. Always characters. At the beginning, they seem to be great. With time, I began to perceive spelling mistakes in the dialogues, logical inconsistencies in the puzzles. D oh my god, you don't say! <laughs> we had- we had to just tape a piece of glass into a computer and put ice cream on the computer! <laughs> it's all your fault! Alright, I'll, I'll be right back. Busta wants on the bed. Uh -huh. The Most one good boy, thing I did was... jumping off the bed, I wouldn't have to put back on it. The one good thing I ever did with this oh. guy must create a... Uh... A sexy goth plague doctor waifu that rebelled against me and thus I offed her. Shitty boy. Is it okay for me to All right, I'm one? back. Mm, sorry, what did you say, Jerry? Welcome back. Also, is it okay for me to say I don't like him? Yeah. That's very fair. He's basically the main antagonist. Except for that robot thing, whatever the fuck that thing is. Well, I think that thing's working for him. Yeah. Either that or, oh, that might be the program he mentioned. Uh... That was, like, causing errors. Or trying to fix errors. It's not bad or good. Yeah. He is the ultimate antagonist. He created this world and then abandoned it like a dick. <laughs> Leaving the hot goth plague doctor waifu to be all alone and have booba. He gave her booba and then he abandoned her. How dare. I'm going to stop with this. Are we going to continue? Yeah. <laughs> right? Oh. For, 
I don't know why I was thinking you already read. They hadn't read that yet. <laughs> I wanted to somehow improve it by committing mass genocide. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Wait, I that... I wrote so program to correct my errors. <laughs> it's a <laughs> sentence about errors. Yeah, that's why I said so right. Yeah. That was definitely on purpose. I don't know. There's been like grammatical errors scattered throughout. I don't know if it's on purpose. Though maybe it is because it's an unfinished game. So Yeah. Unfortunately, I let my madness take over. And now my only option is this final solution you see behind me. God, I'm such a visionary, ain't I? <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> and yes, I did just com just like directly compare this guy to Lame Mustache Man. Wow. The final solution. The criteria which I set were excessive, and my game could not cope with them. Instead of helpful... <laughs> yes. Instead of helpful tools, I programmed a virus. Seeing how many patches my program made, I believe that the project is useless. I fell into a vicious cycle of making changes. The longer I looked at the project, the less I saw its strength. This oh. is kind of like, this is kind of like projected imposter syndrome. Maybe. Each element that once gave me satisfaction and joy became a source of potential errors and glitches. Oh, God live the queen. God live the queen. <laughs> this is my previous project. More specifically, my idea of how it looks like. Yeah. I literally jumped for joy when I created it. Pile of bodies. I jumped for ch <laughs> bro. Today I only see short comments. <laughs> they are not great, but my madness exaggerates them. I see only defects. Seek therapy, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Like, you know, like, the big bad G word wasn't necessary. You should have just, like, talked to someone. Yeah. I say only defects. I guess the defects are the doll of the bodies over there. Look at all these defects over here. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I just realized one of the bodies looked like he was trying to give a high five. High five the corpse. <laughs> it's their dying wish. Do it, Bright. <laughs> Better yet, put a ring on it and you might have a nice wife or husband. Watch it be both. Does anyone get that reference? Because even I barely watched that movie. Was it like, shit. I know it was like this guy puts a ring on his song. A, a dead girl's hand in it. They come to life or something like that. I don't remember yeah. the name. Uh, Corpse Bride. Ah. It's from, uh... Why am I forgetting his name? The guy who did stop motion and did, uh... Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't. Tim Burton's this book. Tim Burton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim Burton. I need to rewatch that. I have it on on DVD. Anyway, you'll see. 
when you run that game, I'm sure the virus will follow you. Right, you do have Norton or something, right? <laughs> I have like five different antivirus programs. Very good. <laughs> I forgot about Corpse Bride. I think I only saw a few parts of it. Yeah. yeah. Let's just be frank. I barely watched any of it. But that movie did significantly alter my my uh future fantasies. Anyway. Such a diversion will divert the attention of the program, so I will have time to undo the damage. I promise that I'll restore the working version of the game, and I won't touch it. I won't evaluate it. I'll let others do so. Does that mean you're going to put everything back? Like, unkill all these people? Because, like, you can. Please do that. <laughs> oh. I won't hold you any longer. I see. Good luck. Yeah, I have a story about that Tim Burton movie, The Corpse Ride. Uh, there was one kid who thought... I don't... I think we revive a dead animal because of that movie with an onion ring by putting it around the finger of the animal. Why is that adorable oh. and sad? Oh, <laughs> that makes my heart hurt. It didn't work, of course. Well, yeah, no. Oh, hey, look, it's a magic onion ring. <laughs> Plus, um, <coughs> like it was the animal's already through half decay. So, wait, you don't put it in here? Man, I gotta go to the author's computer. Oh, did he give you a disc? Yeah. I thought we'd go to the computer with the ice cream on it. Why would you have a different, more functional computer, Bright? Why would you go to the ice cream oh. computer? Oh, hello. Yeah, that guy's definitely the virus. Hello, Mr. Virus. And not our virus. Bad dream coma. The game we just did previously. Huh. Oh my god. It's literally bad dream coma. But with the virus. Yeah, it did say his previous work. So wait, are we now just playing Bad Dream Coma again? Apparently. <laughs> what are you doing here? Hey, you are walking here? Do you want me to erase you? <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to someone and say that someday. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to erase you? And then walk away. Just don't do it in Chicago. Okay. I have an eraser. I could do it. I saw a list of like things to say to people or things to whisper to strangers on the street. And it was like things like, are, you, are your pockets filled with macaroni too? And, uh, uh, I have the diamond. Do you have the stuff? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's just salty peanuts, salty peanuts, salty peanuts. <laughs> that hatch, that's where you remind me of a memory of this crazy person I met on a train where they said, Are you lactating blood too? <laughs> <laughs> secretly, secretly, I am a walrus. <laughs> I am the walrus. <laughs> Lactating blood. I don't think that's healthy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see, I have this big mammary gland, like, right the center of my chest. It's constantly pumping out red red milk for some reason, and any time I pump out too much of it, I get dizzy and die. <laughs> 
Chief Doctor, please. Yeah. Let's get a GoFundMe for your medical expenses. <laughs> Just murder! In your place, I wouldn't put off this decision too long. Something is clearly not right with this place. Better delete the dream now before it becomes a big of nightmare. Believe me. Oh, hello. Oh, oh our one he savior is dead. I thought he was dead. Who was dead? The, the robot. No, he wasn't <laughs> killed. Oh. He's just a virus. He's around. Did Joe say that? What's going on here? Oh, a strange robot. That oh. robot. I can't leave. Oh. Oh. Well, thank you, Professor Glystone, for rating. Hey, Glyce. We're slowly dying. I think one said this should be pretty long now. Hey, Glyce. How are you doing? Heck of a time to show up. Yeah, and uh, I'm good. I'm doing. Yeah. What are you saying, Bray? Oh, I just said yeah. I didn't say and. <laughs> oh, okay. It sounded like I interrupted you. No. <laughs> and now we're dead. So what are we transgendering the king? What? <laughs> Our new job is to trans the king. He came from over there. What kind of mind thought up such a monster? Why am I- I don't have a consistent voice for most of these characters. <laughs> Patrick character Star! Voice. I'm gonna do Patrick Star now. <laughs> he writes everything- everything that it meets. In no time at all, he destroyed our entire city. You brought this creature to our world, now help us to remove it. Go, we need you to get to the hospital. SpongeBob. We don't have any time to waste. Oh wait, I could do I could do Squidward better. Because he he's kinda tall and lanky. Oh, shit. Bob. The whole world began to become a up and jam and lamb it. <laughs> Additionally, this strange creature maniacally erases all the places in which it appears. The good news is that he uses a pencil, so we can erase it using an eraser. Unfortunately, the piece you have with you is too small to wait before. Oh god, I need to... I need to stop doing that to my nose. Yeah, that's fair. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go with my easiest voice. <laughs> Unfortunately. The piece you have with you is too small for me to restore the world to the state before you came here. We'll worry about that later. Now we have to get out of here and stop this monster before the available is degraded for... I'll share my eraser with you. 
Wait, that's not... I'm... Oh my god. You... <laughs> Turned Albert into a prick. <laughs> Russia. Vodki. This is how I make sounds with Russian voice, da? I am Russian. You, you can tell because I say Russian things like vodki. <laughs> I'll share my eraser with you, but I am asking, what the fuck, am I having a stroke? <laughs> I am asking you to please use your pace with care. Why did I change it again? This... I'm getting frustrated. Uh. I didn't think that would go through. Roski. Roski. I am Russian man. This is a very valuable object that can save someone's life. Eraser. Oh. I'm guessing you shouldn't use your eraser unless it's to save someone. Or you meet the robot. The situation looks... No, that's wrong. Fuck. <laughs> the situation looks worse than I thought. I'll look around the area to see if there are any survivors and estimate damage. You chill. <laughs> you check inside building. I hope that you'll find a way to defeat this strange robot. Oh, hi there. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have to I'll just appear right now on the side instead of being hidden away. Now, the only question is, is what ending does this game take place in? Because Coma has multiple endings. I'm willing to guess... I'm, I'm willing to guess that this is its own ending, considering there wasn't the robot the first time, I'm guessing. Oh, I got a plug. You son of a bitch. Was I timed? Oh, no I'm not. Can you use it on him? Stop stop mashing it. I didn't mash it. That sounded like you were mashing it. No, I just clicked it once. So now you don't have an eraser anymore, but you have a cable. Oh, for the computer. <laughs> Anti virus. <laughs> Scanning. Scanning. Well, Bookworm says games, but I mean, I don't think we need much help here. No threats detected. Games. Yeah, so it's just scanning for viruses on this computer. What? Grab the pencil. Oh! Oh, this he just hit the log out button. No, I'd say go back to the games. Hit coma. Try pressing exit. I hit it, something happened. Oh! Oh, okay. So, that's how that happened. Oh, we're back here. The good thing it's saved. Because I didn't.
You think you can erase me? You can't! He's not erasing, he's scribbling things out. Can you grab the pencil? I I'm wondering. I think Bright already tried. Oh. Oh. No. Apartment. Did the you move CD my... and the tape. Oh. It just got without commenting. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh wait, up there at the side it says fever order now. Yeah. CD. What the? What the fuck is this? <laughs> We're within a game. Within a game. Within a game. You're. <laughs> you're installing bridge. You're installing old folks' home games. Oh, oh my. the bridge is in that place, okay. Oh, f oh install it. What? Autocorrect. The virus is scribbling out the bridge. Removing the virus. Oh, shit. Oh, we just do multiple. He can't get rid of all of them at once. Ha <laughs> ha! bitch! You can't handle bright spamming bullshit. <laughs> I will spam this button till you die! Oh, it looks like they might oh. die soon! Boot virus has been removed. Oh. Can you read it? <clears throat> oh, I had just muted. Uh, when you unmute, if you're having trouble, I can help you read it. No, I can read it fine. I was just trying to shoo a cat upstairs. Oh. Oh. All right. No. Wait. What? What? Uh. Russian. Russian. Elberfuss. Now I understand. Only the author could have invented a creature like this. I thought that he was a greater imp I thought that he has a greater impression of his own work. Is the game almost over? It doesn't matter. The people who visited this place seemed satisfied. This is the only thing that counts for me. Just a little more, says Book. Oh, we might actually finish I mean, this tonight. That, yeah, that's convenient because I was going to have to leave early. <laughs> now that you have removed the personification of the author's madness, everything may go back to normal. Unfortunately, I don't know what else to tell you. As far as I know, you should be in a different game now. Such a situation was not prov provided for in my scripts. Oh, we only have five to ten minutes left. <laughs> yeah, five to ten minutes. Sweet. So don't be offended, but scram. No, <laughs> bye. Goodbye. Recommended for you, bad dream fail. <laughs> I will said failure instead of be bad dream failure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, everything's back to normal. Don't just immediately start looking through her stuff. We're going on a bra.
one of the first things you do when you enter a stranger's home. Ooh, is that a cactus? I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! I'm gonna pretend I never saw that. Okay. Oh. Hey. Thank you for the help you gave me. Well, who is this? I think it is the one that's in our house. You appeared in this mess. Oh, okay, no, I think this is the author. Ah. You'll put... Yeah, it's Gur. Her. Oh, okay, then it's her. You appeared in this mess without any context. You expected a game, and you landed... Landed up in a patchwork of unfinished location. I was a random girl for you who saving time on the explanations immediately asked you for favors yeah it's definitely girl <laughs> oh what 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 uh, what piece of context clues did you piece that together from bright huh <laughs> despite this you stayed to the end i know it's just because you wanted to get into my <laughs> shit I just I bonked myself. That's fair. Anyway. You fixed this entire mess. Removing the virus caused the author to regain full control over the complete project. As he promised, he restored the project to an earlier state. Thanks to you, all my close friends live again. I hope you're not offended with me for thanking you in the form of a letter. The current version of me is another person than the one you met. Which means she doesn't have boobs. But she still probably means she just doesn't remember you. Nothing traumatic happened to me, so I no longer need to hide my suffering with jokes. I'm not crazy either because I'm not surrounded by talking painting. <laughs> For the first time in my very long time. I don't have to wear a mask. Oh, we don't get to see her. I want to see her face. She has small boobs. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know if you believe me or not, but in this world, I can even change the batteries myself. <laughs> that is why I'm saying goodbye to you in this way. I have the impression that you saw in me any way a complete stranger. Who knows? I came here for my goth plague master waifu. Plague master. Plague doctor waifu. And now she's taken off her mask and isn't even here to see us off with her whatever she's got under the mask. <laughs> Shit. I want to see my play Dr. Waifu. This is a scam. Maybe the author will use me in some other project. We would have the opportunity to meet in other circumstances. Hell yeah. You would know me as the person who I really am. To making into games. Uh, I would not object. But it's in the point click style. You you act as if that's not like ninety percent of hentai games. No, like collecting items and then using them. 
on the yeah that's person. that's a really oh. common thing oh. that's, that's really common especially for like flash hentai oh. games because it's basically just a string of various animations that you play now it is time for us to say goodbye Thank you once again for the help you gave me. Don't forget about me, because I certainly will not forget about you. Then fucking be here so I can... I don't find your name. Ella. Aww. And I'm guessing it's over, because the flash of Oh, I want to... Fucking... I want to see Ella. You don't even get to see the fixed world. Yep, that's the end. The end. I want to see Ella without her mask. You. Fuck. Oh wait, Boko says one more scene. Okay. <laughs> it was a movie the entire time. <laughs> Just turn it off. <laughs> How the, last... How the last game ended. Wait, that's it, Bookworm? Yep. No, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the plunge. Bad dream fever porn. God damn it, Hatchet. Well, we know what's going to happen now. It's stream end time. And there's nothing. Okay, so a, a, a hentai furry uh, comic came up that's called Bad Dream Sundays. <laughs> but no porn of my... No porn of Ella. What the hell is wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? Anyway, book her last words go, because there's no one online I want to raid. Hatchet Martining over there, goth like Dr. Waifu. Yes. Oh, the cr oh, I love this person's art style. They've got a game on Steam. What? Uh. I the dare you to say comment, that on, subscribe, and follow stream. Bright if you enjoyed this dream. Give her okay, money if you can called, when you wake up. Uh, Priestess Lust. It's a work in progress on Steam. From this person called Solly's Sundays. I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah. Also, uh, Pokemon said like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright if you enjoyed this dream. Give her money if you can when you wake up. <laughs> nice. Nice book. Nice theme. I makes me wonder, because I know there's another bad dream game in the making. If we don't see Ella in that game, I will find the author and I will piss on him. Yeah, coming soon, there's perks for Oh, there's something else. That's only a dollar nineteen. Which is Bad Dream Stories. Bad Dream Stories is a collection of older games in the Bad Dream series in a new remastered form. Oh, it's probably like a compilation of older Flash games. Okay. I'll take a that look at that. Like yeah. 
Unfortunately, Ella won't be there because she's a new character. And now we have to wait for a new game. Otherwise, I'm a dead man. Bad, <laughs> bad dream purgatory. Explore a hauntingly surreal landscape filled with unused characters from a canceled project in bad dream purgatory. Will you give them purpose or will they be doomed to suffer? So I guess everyone wasn't saved. Or it's a different project. Yeah. You know what probably happened? The author went on to start a new project and then immediately had the exact same issues crop up. <laughs> anyway, are we going to continue the sign-offs? Yeah. Uh, Jury, last words, go. Nice last words. <laughs> was that your last words, Jerry? That was my last words and Spood's last words. Right. That shit last words. Go or else. Consider this. You drink nothing but alcohol for a day. Mm -hmm. And then you piss in a bottle. Okay. Could you make a Molotov with your piss? No. <laughs> That's not how that works. Edgy. I will have to test this further. Oh, God. It, it will be called the Piss Tov. Oh, God. It's just, it's just a Molotov, except it's not actually particularly destructive. You just get hit in the face. With a <laughs> with a glass bottle filled with piss. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. The liver would absorb a bit of the alcohol, I think, says book. Wait, that means if I have high alcohol tolerance, is my is my liver like really strong? Maybe. Might be something else though. Yeah. Uh. Like I think it can be a genetic thing. Yeah. I have never had a hangover, and I plan not to have one. Oh yeah, actually, here's, uh, here's my actual final words. Besides piss tovs, um, okay. I recently learned that, mm -hmm. uh, a another wonderful example of evolution, happening, very noticeably. Yeah. Uh, because of the fact that. We as dumb humans mm -hmm. uh, here in America have taken to commonly, uh, when we hear a rattlesnake rattle, assume I need to kill that rather than I need to leave that alone. Mm -hmm. uh, rattlesnakes that are less likely to rattle have been selected for by natural selection, or I guess in this case, by artificial selection thanks to humans yeah. as such there is a large amount of rattlesnake species that are beginning to have fewer and fewer members that are very active with their rattles which is also really bad because you know the rattle is a threat response that helps you know that the snake is there in the first place mm-hmm so these snakes becoming more prolific are likely just going to cause people to be more likely to stumble into a rattlesnake bite. And die. This Unlikely to die. Situation to me. What'd you say? Win-win situation to me. How is it a win-win situation? Well, maybe if people stop killing rattlesnakes, it'll stop happening. Well, yeah. But... Like, that takes a lot of social changes. People are just going to keep doing it if that doesn't happen. Talking about snakes, maybe remember something about Gustav, the, the Nile crocodile. Oh, no. No, this is actually super badass. Apparently, some soldiers apparently wanted it dead, went straight up to it, fired a machine pistol at it, and it lived. That's awesome. 
It lived from machine pistol. It just it has the scar tissue still on it, obviously. But it lived. It Why just... is anyone trying to fuck with Gustav? Yeah, at this point, just leave Gustav alone. Like, this guy is obviously protected by all of the Elder Gods. Yeah. We ain't touching Gustav. <laughs> Yeah, apparently there was also another time where a bunch of fishermen were trying to capture and kill it. <laughs> they had their backs turned. And the one across the river was another fisherman who, who was about to get ready. They got eaten. Guso just completely ignored the people trying to bait him. And ate the person not even trying. Oh, come on. <laughs> that sounds much more like an urban legend. Yeah. Well, it's it's it, it's what's been recorded though, which is uh, Gustav just wants to, to be left alone at this point. How He's, long until we? How I'm long going until... to comment that most animals of a species, I mean, most yeah, most of its brethren want to be left alone in general as well. So whatever miracle keeping it alive, maybe it's trying to say something. Yeah, stop stop fucking around and finding out with <laughs> fucking crocs. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if Gustav is related to a scaligator. What? <laughs> <sighs> God damn it. Not a scaligator. <laughs> I think I remember what you're talking about. Like the yeah. gator that was going around with a knife stuck in its head. Yeah. And everyone I was so well, it's related. Well, it's it's I mean they're related in terms of the fact that they're both crocodilians, but they're not oh, really yeah. related. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like I those memes were really funny, but I'm just sad for that that yeah. that alligator. But yeah, just like whoever pulls the knife from a scaligator's head becomes the new king of Florida. <laughs> Very Floridian. Yeah. Then they shall wage war against the lionfish. Yeah, I think like for a couple of years, one of the most popular crocodile hunters, not the not the good one, the one who died, but like a, a really popular one. Irwin? Not or not Steve Irwin. It was someone yeah, else. That's what I mean. Yeah, like oh, the okay. good guy. Yeah, being Steve Irwin. I forgot his name. I don't remember Steve. it. But he he's been trying to hunt him down for years and keeps coming up empty. God, stop! Just, oh fuck! <laughs> this such... reminds me of things Steve Irwin would say in that basically <laughs> animals generally just want to be left alone. Yeah, though the thing is, this crocodile hunter, even though he's popular, he's stupid. Because the traps he set up are made out of wood. <laughs> you think the crocodile, as big as it is, isn't going to break it. <laughs> this guy needs to find a new obsession. Yeah. I it's... hope he gets killed. I'm going to go watch stuff and try to finish what I was doing. I want to watch well, a video was... about Gustav. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that was kind of extra brutal, but you know what? Like this guy's fucking around. He kind of needs to find out. Yeah. I'm not taking back what I said. I I hope. He oh no, I'm not. I'm not telling you to. I kind of agree. He yeah. he keeps fucking around. He needs to find out. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, later. Yeah, later. Take care. I'll. Yeah. Good night. Oh, did the stream already end? Oh, shit. I didn't stream yet. Um, bye, Danger Noodles. <laughs>